Alan, why you no, why you don't come in the water? Boss doesn't come in the water. No, 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 no. Look at, look at this lazy bum. <laughs> doesn't want to come. Okay. <laughs> He's finished. What is going on, my reefing fam? March here. This is Fragbox TV. Okay, thanks for tuning back into the channel. A little bit of a different video today. We are still over here in Indonesia, in Bali. This time, we're going to take you underwater with our friends at a coral farm actually out in the water. We're gonna frag some of the pieces, we're gonna glue them down to a base, and then we're gonna replant them on the farm. Please um, forgive a little bit of the camera quality. It isn't my typical camera. It's a waterproof one we're using. I'm gonna take you underwater, and I'm gonna try and identify some of the corals um, that we see here. They're large, grown out, acropora colonies, and some smaller ones too. And it's really cool to see where they actually come from, how they're grown, and see them in this sort of condition. So stick around, I think this is gonna be a really cool video. Big, no? Nice. Small, small. Big? Tenuous. Nice Tenuous. Yeah. Yeah, it grows too fast but it's yeah. too big. Uh -huh. But when we make a frag, we make it like this. In a spot. Yeah, like this. How many pieces you will make? How many pieces you will make? A hundred? Biting me. <laughs> <laughs> He's biting you. Yeah. Okay. Now we're actually gonna put those pieces down onto some concrete bases here. The ones that we just fragged. And they keep like we showed you in some other videos, tags on each individual piece so you can see that they're actually um, legit Mary cultured so you can't fake it. Yeah. And that's it. Oh so so easy. So this is the concrete here already put into each piece and then he's just sticking them in and using a rubber band to attach it. That's a smart way of doing it. And then on that rack there, it looks like he's got some other sort of plastic to hold them down so they don't fly away in the current. Because um, this is low tide right now, so we went out at six o'clock in the morning and you really have between six and nine because what happens is the water will come back in and then it gets choppy and, and you're not coming out here and doing this. We're basically at waist, waist height right now. It's like three, three and a half feet deep. So if Tia was here, she, her head would be underwater. But because everyone is the normal height, we're, we're okay. And then they were just saying this area, just tenuous and milly. And then you go to another area, you find different acro species. So they figured out which parts of the water um, do best for certain species. So this just happens to be these two. And then we're gonna go and check out maybe some other ones where they grow Montipora or Digitata or those kind of things. It's kind of cool that they figured it out. And what we've decided is we're gonna take back a water bottle full of water from right here in Lovely Valley and ICP test it. Cause I think it'd be interesting to see. It's gonna be interesting to see um, what the parameters of the water are because a lot of the corals that we're selling in the aquarium trade are coming from here. So it would make sense to, like in theory, to closely replicate the water conditions that um, where they're naturally found. Look at that. And I'm sure they're gonna solidify and attach to that in, in no time. It's very simple. Little base, cement, elastic bands and then labor which is very very inexpensive here so I think average working salary is like a good salary here is like 200 bucks a month um, or at least that's a living wage so um, very very inexpensive labor I got it. Arches first frag. Real first frag. Hey! It's really nice out here. Um, some big waves over there, but the spot they have chosen here. 
really nice temperature. It feels like it's probably 76, 77. Okay, now in this section, I have a camera underwater. I apologize in advance. Oh, this is some nice Montipora. Um, I apologize in advance for the camera quality. It's not my typical camera. This is some Montipora Digitata. Also for the sound and the shakiness, I'm snorkeling here and trying to hold the camera and at the same time battling very strong current to try and stay in one position. Ooh, blue purple. That's kind of a less found digitata. This is, I think, Acropora Rosario, which gets a crazy gold color. So you have to remember we're looking at these under natural sunlight. So, uh, oh, this I think is Acropora Secale. I'm going to get probably a text from my friend Alan after um, that tells me which ones are which. These are their brood colonies too, so they're not selling or these big ones. This is where they're cutting from. I think this is a Grandulosa. I swear I'm not drunk here. I know it's shaky. I'm just trying to keep this camera still as I can. Uh, it might be a Loripi. So we often call this deep water, but these are all grown at the same depth. We're about six feet underwater here. These are, I think, Formosa. Um, purple formosas and they have those nice long branching things they look almost like staghorns they had probably where i'm snorkeling here well over 50 different species of acropora and it's so nice to see them big you know like I mean, we're so used to seeing frags throughout the industry especially in the united states you can't find really large colonies of acro and these are these are big these are 12 inches across and bigger and they have them tied down to these racks but what they were telling me was sometimes if the current is strong enough or they have a storm they'll come back and the entire rack everything is gone all their hard work and growing out this is um the, i think it's the bally slimer um, if i don't if I remember correctly i go and touch it and then try and show you the stickiness in the video i don't know but there's just so so many corals and you guys i think if you're new to the channel welcome if you're if you're not new you've heard me talk about how i've always felt so disconnected from where the corals from because i've never been to asia indonesia bali i've never actually seen where they're coming from so i feel definitely a lot more connected oh this is an aspera that's a really cool species of acro um really unusual it gets like a very greeny blue color but i've always felt disconnected now i feel super connected because i've actually seen the farm underwater where they're doing it how they're doing it the guys that are cutting it i feel a lot like i know a lot more and um it feels good uh, this is some blue tenuous you can kind of see off to the left here there was a lot a lot of different colors and it's hard to see what they're going to look like in an aquarium because we're looking at it again under natural sunlight so you can't really tell what it's going to look like some of the really professional divers what they're telling me will do is actually night dive Efflorescent. Sorry, I keep cutting myself off. This is the Acropora efflo. Love this species. True tabling. So they night dive with very strong blue lights. And what that does is they can illuminate all the corals and see the fluorescent ones and really pick the best of the best ones. During the day, without a trained eye, it is kind of hard. Now, uh, I can just focus for a second. I think that was an Acropora abrilo, abriloensis. I never pronounce it. Correctly. That one's kind of a hard one to pronounce. And then these are just some Xenia that I found off on a rock that they're not farming. But there's lots, lots of soft coral. I mean, away from um, where they're actually growing them. Tons of Anthelia, different types of Xenia. And the current was really, really strong here. I guess that's why they're growing Acro, if we think about it. Acropora, they want a very, very strong current. Strong current, strong lights. Uh, and I think they're getting fed a ton. I don't know what this coral is. Actually, we got stumped with one that someone found in the water. Some cool macroalgae that we found for Tia. Maybe some dragon's nest or dragon's tongue. These guys found a nice starfish. And I think that's it. There's so many corals, it's overwhelming here. We're gonna wrap up this video. It's a little bit different than the ones we normally do, but I hope you still enjoyed it and maybe learned something from it. And I will let you go. Have a very nice day or afternoon, or maybe morning, wherever you're watching from. Goodbye for now from underwater. Have a good one. Take care.